Besties, I am here with Heather Dubro, and today we are gonna be doing my POV, my point of view of a holiday house tour. Yes, are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Cheers. Do you come, come, come. come. Okay guys, really quick, I did not intro Miss Heather Dubro, the one, the only queen, Heather Dubro, interior designer, housewife, entertainer, producer, mother, <laughs> queen, royalty, like, can we just talk about how we met really quick? Cause everyone's probably like, how the hell is Patrick starring Heather Dubro in right. one screen? My son Ace and I were eating at Hot Pot and Patrick was sitting at the next table. With Douse Mendoza. And so I finished and I was like, I'm gonna say hello. So I take off my apron cause we wear aprons. We do, it's really cute. <laughs> I get up and I'm like, I love you your work and your house and everything. And she's like, come on my podcast. I'm like, I love you. Cause Ace was hitting me the whole time. Do you know who's behind me? Do you know? And I go, yes, I know. But we're at the hot pot. And so we connected mm -hmm. and then we fell in love mm -hmm. and he came on my podcast. And then I found out that Patrick loves my holiday decor. Everything, everything. I fell in love with the house, the master bedroom, the entertainment, the different themes. If you haven't seen the past holiday house tours, she had a laundry room with washers and dryers galore and the gift wrapping station with tissues and all the things. Monograms. All monograms. Of course, it's got to be logoed out. You're going to give me a holiday house tour from my people because guys, she's going to be making this over. I've seen in the news and everything that you want to make it over and put the Heather Dubrow touch. It's really exciting actually. I've never done a remodel of this proportion before because mm -hmm. this is major. It's gonna be really cool. Crazy. So yeah. let's get started. Okay, let's do it. So this is what happened. I was on a plane okay. and I had an idea because of so many iconic producers have owned this home. I thought why don't we do a nod to Hollywood. Tell us what this is, because you always are famous for like an entryway moment, mm -hmm. and this is it. I can't believe I'm witnessing one of your holiday entryway moments. So we threw some staged furniture uh -huh. into this house so we could move in and get the plans together. Of course, I had to have an entry table, and what we decided to do was create the first look of the Hollywood flavor for the holidays. So we have a clapboard, Christmas morning is the scene, and our name's in there. What's so funny is the camera. The I camera person is Vincent. That's my daughter's cat. Have you ever, <laughs> because it's old Hollywood. Remember like, Action. I am a set. But these are monograms, this is so crazy. Where do you get your ideas? It was the house that really inspired this whole theme. I was on a plane and I just, I thought, oh my gosh, Hollywood, I don't want ribbon on the tree. I want eight millimeter film. This is gonna be super cool. And this is the first time that I've actually done a stairway garland and a wreath outside. I just love lights. So to me, the more lights, the better. But th I will say this, it's really important to reuse your holiday items. These little stars, and there's some crystal stars in the trees. I have used these for years. I will use them at dinner parties. I will use them for the holidays, for birthday celebrations, anything. To me, one of the most iconic ones that me and my team were gagged at was the huge, big ass bow, the Tiffany blue bow. Can I guess that are these also from that bow moment too? I can't believe you read Yes! <laughs> that ribbon, which is all handmade that looks like a grid with all those crystals. They were all handmade. That bow was completely handmade. It was so sad to let that bow go, but it was so huge that we couldn't put it, but we saved those elements and, and used them here. There was a shot of the bow. Then all of a sudden the camera goes to you and Jose screamed and he said, holy damn, that bow is bigger than you. It was huge. like this wide. It was all handmade with satin and silk. It was the most gorgeous thing. I just love that. What are some of your tips for having an iconic stairway 
garland for people at home that want to get the look. Group things together because depth is really important. You can see, you know, there's different colors, there's different textures. Some look like disco balls, some look like glitter, some are smooth. Let me tell you something. You do not have to spend a ton of money to have a gorgeous tablescape or a gorgeous garland. I mean, you really can accomplish these things. Lights, and, and just different colored balls mixed together. I like mixed metals a lot. I know that used to be taboo. I remember going out with a group of girls. One was not very nice, we're not friends anymore. But I remember she was walking behind another friend of ours and she went, <gasps> because the zipper was silver mm -hmm. and the girl was wearing gold jewelry. I mean, for real. And here's the other thing. There's no right or wrong. Whatever you love is exactly right because it's your home. You should walk in and feel happy. What are you doing for the, your holiday? I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I just posted a, decor vlog okay. like my as my first time I ever did it and I did mixed metals I did gold silver Whoa, a lot like more gold that. I added some creams just to break up like vanilla but okay. just wanted it to be fun oh that's so exciting yes. let's continue on shall we coming into the dining room one mile later we put out some snacks we were hanging out before but ignoring the snacks this is the concession stand so it's funny when I first thought of it I was picturing popcorn and Twizzlers and like those. movie food yeah but this is better Beverly Hills. Yes. It has to be a little bit fancier. Guys, look at this. So this is the iconic brand new family crest sneak preview. There it is. Like when I saw your gift wrapping station with the logo and the Chanel yeah. looking bags, I wanted to throw up. The ribbon that says Dubro, the black and white oh, ribbon. Y'all, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan, okay? And then I was like, I miss Dubro. I have never seen this. Why is branding so important to you? Well, I mean, why is branding important? in general. Your brand is how you're showing up in the world and what you're telling people you're about. And so with the with the logo for this house, we did a crest. Of course, we have the D on it because I'm a logo ho. I did the two lions because the last owner of the house, Dino De Laurentiis, mm -hmm. De Laurentiis Entertainment Group, mm -hmm. their symbol were two lions. And also what's super weird is that my oldest son, Nikki, his little lovey has always been a lion. All the schools he's ever gone to, the mascot's a lion. Like I just feel very in touch with lions mm -hmm. and that's what we did. You guys should have seen my face when we were driving up the freaking hills of Beverly. The hills of Beverly. That's just what it is. Not Beverly Hills. The Hills of Beverly. I was playing the Beauty and the Beast entrance <laughs> song because there was lions, tigers, and bears in this big gate. And I was like, we are meeting a princess today, a queen. And that I wish was. I had worn it again. And, and I'm the beast coming up here because oh, this is just it. so. By the way, insane. I'm the beast. You're the oh princess. my God, I had to give my holiday best. I love it. So we did a, just a little decor in here. We've got stockings for our fur babies, my two fur babies, and my grand cat. And then, of course, we have the popcorn on the concession stand, and all of this is Dubro Cinema. Oh my God, the popcorn machine. So, this is our whole concession area. I love it. My kids are always like, when? Can we eat the candy? <laughs> and I'm like, after we film. You always have such an elaborate spread. Yeah, all the candy always. and yeah. the station. But once they start picking at it, it's not it's cute. Not, it's not cute. To okay, me, she's me. <laughs> Comment down below if you're a Heather Dubro personality, because I feel like I'm the same for way. Show. Yes. <laughs> Candy is for show. There should be show candy and then back a house candy. Let me show you the gay tree. The gay, the gay tree? The, uh, that's my kind of treat. Yes, queen, come on, gay tree. <laughs> Tell everyone why this, yeah, it should sing, it should lip sing. To be perfectly honest, you can change the colors around, but it ended up rainbow and I think it's apropos. So, and here's what's cool about the family tree. And you can see, I did Over make a here. new. Is this your family tree? Cause I know she has all her theme. See, I'm a yes. big fan. You normally have your theme and then she has like the family hodgepodge tree where anyone can put whatever they want on the tree. That's this tree. Over the years, we've bought ornaments together. We've collected them in our travels. And you know, like if I do special one-on-one -on -one trips with the kids, even if it's in the middle of the summer, I will grab an ornament and put it on the tree so that we remember it. So basically, when you look through all of this, it is sort of a hodgepodge of places we've been to, things we've done, memories. There's, you know, when the kids got their driver's licenses, there's oh my gosh, there's a lock so that we had made and we put on the lock bridge in Paris and I had two of them made. What happened in New York? So that New York trip was a trip I did with Katerina. So my daughter, Katerina, who's now 17, she's a filmmaker. At the time, she was so into Broadway. And so for out, cause I tried to do an alone trip with each of the kids. So with her, we went to New York, where I'm from, and we saw like a million shows yes. in three days. And wow. it was so fun. We had the best, best time. 
There's one up here from Arizona because my son Nick and I went and he did a driving course and a whole thing. I mean, just so many cute fun. There's a lot of champagne. There's a roll of toilet paper from the pandemic. Okay, you know? little toilet paper yeah. moment. It says 2020. Do you remember 2020? Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, and there's all kinds of just little trinkets from different times of, in our lives and things that have happened. And so that's what makes this so special. Oh my. I know. You're gonna oh. Die. My God, we have to come around the corner. Come One on. One second. Oh! Can you believe? So we were sticking with the retro theme. I wanted to highlight some of our favorite Christmas movies, holiday movies, and TV shows. And so we did it in a really retro way. This room is is what I am gonna dub from Mariah Carey, like nostalgia. This is nostalgia. I see Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I see mm -hmm. Christmas classics from Disney. Elf, yep. you Elf. got The Grinch. Yep. A lot of our favorite. Wait, so can you tell people at home if they want to like rig this at home? Like, what is it? Is it That's a... That's above my pay grade. Oh, it is, okay. I it was just the inspiration. Crazy. I don't actually make these <gasps> These things. little elf hat. This is so genius. I have a really great team and Nicole Reinemann and I have been working together for years. Oh She's God. just so fabulous. <laughs> and we've worked together for so long that we have such a great shorthand and when I call her and I'm like I have an idea it looks like this and, da, 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 da. and she's like I got it this is where we'll spend Christmas Eve we do Secret Santa the Christmas pajamas are revealed and we do reindeer food okay. we throw reindeer food outside Ra do you know what what's is? reindeer food I don't know what rain oh what, what? well well I don't know about Beverly Hills reindeer because it could wait <laughs> that's a good point I might have to step up my reindeer food game do we it's throw? truffles duh <laughs> <laughs> what we do is you take oats and sugar and edible glitter and you sprinkle it outside. Mm -hmm. So the theory is reindeer will come by mm -hmm. and they'll see the glitter and so they'll be attracted to it and then they'll start eating the sugar and the oats and so they'll hang out longer so Santa spends more time at your house. Oh. But in Beverly Hills, I think we gotta add some caviar and shaved truffle. I bet, I bet. Well, it sounds to like Santa my kind of meal. There's two really special, special times in our house. One is the 24th when we do our Christmas pajamas and our secret Santa. It's just like a really cozy, lovely family night. And the other night, I know it's very decorated for the Christmas holiday, but we also celebrate Hanukkah. Yes. And we go- What did you call it? Chrismica? Chrismica. But we do a really big, big Hanukkah. Yes. And this year especially, it's really important to be honoring our Jewish tradition and our heritage. And so we're gonna go all out, do a big Hanukkah. We play dreidel wars. It's the only time I cook. We make latkes and the decor changes a bit in the dining room. But there's one more thing I need okay, to show you. Okay, let's go check it out. Do you think it's sad or cute that I used to have a wall of champagne and now I have a fridge? Oh, you know what, listen, <laughs> do you girl, do you girl. It goes down the same way. Do you like advent calendars? I know what this is. Is this one of your little family things and the kids get to like? Yes, but instead of a typical advent calendar, we do a punch box. You literally punch it and there's a prize inside. Each day has got like a fun game for the family to play or a tree. And then on the 13th, it's my son Ace's birthday. So that one's a special one for him. And then on the 24th, since that's the night we reveal our Christmas PJs, it goes along with that. So you'll have okay. to wait. Okay. Uh, you'll have to go to Heather Dubrow on Instagram and check that out. This is so Isn't major. It great? The gumdrops, the design. I hope you guys are getting so inspired. If you haven't already decorated for the Christmas, let me know what I should glam queen Heather Dubrow. Well, thank you so much for having oh, me on your channel you. today. This is so, so iconic. Be sure to follow Heather Dubrow everywhere on social media. Be sure to check her out everywhere on TV. And congratulations on your beautiful home I and just, your beautiful family. Family. I'm so honored that to have met you and been on your podcast. Oh my God, can I tell you, I just adore you. I think you are so fabulous and such an inspiration for so many people. And I'm really grateful that we're friends. Oh, thank you. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays.